Okay, so we've come inside here because I want to show you how easy it is to get in and out of the suit. Why are we doing this inside? Because it is 30 degrees outside and I want to take my time and not rush through it. So I'm cheating and using air conditioning. What I'm wearing now is the Avatar undersuit. Um, if you've been following me on social media for a while, you might have seen that I posted about it recently. The very cool thing about it is it is actually made from 100% recycled plastic bottles. Um, and they can be processed to produce this kind of wool-like interior and a really nice smooth outside. A couple of things. Um, you can see here that there's an opening through which you could connect a heating vest. There is also another similar opening here in the pocket through which you could connect a P-valve. So we're not going to worry about that just now. Instead, I'm going to zip it up and then get into our dry suit. So just going to make sure the zip is all the way open and then grab it, fold it over. You see you have a couple of straps here to hold it up. When you're putting your suit on outside and the outside, you want to make sure you have a changing mat or something smooth underneath so you are protecting your seals. This is how I would quite often spend a surface interval with the suit half down so I can cool off a little bit, probably open the undersuit as well, um, and make sure that my cuffs are away from the ground. Okay, so next, how do we get into it? Now, um, it is a good idea to use something to lubricate your seals. I've always used gel. It has worked for me best when I was diving a lot in cold water, so I've just gone back to that. Some people like talcum. I've just found that the gel works better for me, so it's a personal preference, as long as you're using something that's not detrimental to the material. the seal is not folded over. Pull it back. Now all of this extra gel I'm going to keep because I can use it on the other side. I can also then use it for my next one. Okay. Two seals down, one to go. Reach back and make sure that my next seal is folded over because that's what's going to provide me the seal. Go under. And make sure it's just nice and smooth in a place that is relatively comfortable. Okay, so all that remains for almost is the zip. To make sure that there's nothing stuck. So, um, nice and smoothly to the end. Now, down here, there's a reason that this is shaped so that you can give it a good pull. Make sure it really is sealed. So, you see now the suit is still a little bit bunched up here. There's too much air, too much material. You need to pull it down. And then, just like you would with the crotch strap of a harness, So lots of space, I can move, I can reach back with my arms, so I could reach twin set valves if I wanted to. I could also reach the back of side mount tanks if I wanted to. Um, and probably more importantly, I can still get my fins on, on both sides. Um, before you go diving, you want to get rid of some of the extra air. So I'm just going to put two fingers in here. Down, let go, and you see a little bit more shrink wrapped. And that's it. Um, Dump, easily reachable, easily moved if you need to. 
inflator easily reachable, easy, easily moved. Okay, so let's assume we finished our dive. Um, we come back to the shore, we need to get out of our suit. Um, if you simply want to get away from the feeling that you might be a little shrink wrapped and maybe you've already disconnected your inflator but haven't really put extra air in your suit, it's a good idea to open the zip, one hand to kind of hold a little bit against it and make sure you're not getting anything stuck. Open it all the way. And you see already everything has loosened off. Now for the tricky part, I need to come out of that next seal. I need to make sure you pull the um, collar around it as well. Okay, so that wasn't so hard. For the cuffs, I tend to reach around like this and gently ease the seal over my hands. Basically, it is made in Europe, it comes from Poland, from a company called SMT Marine. If SMT and dry suits sound familiar, that's because um, that's Santi. So that's the company behind the brand Santi. Avatar is their entry-level model. It is priced in a way that makes it easy to choose to go and get your own dry suit. Um, but it is also very lightweight, easy to travel with and still very durable. So just in case you want to find out more about that, have a look online, Avatar, like the movie, avatardrysuits.com.